Hey what's guys, Sam here and a couple of days ago I was going through my archive of photos and I came across a set of photos that I took somewhere in January 2020 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was actually a Louis, 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 Louis Capaldi concert. Now I'm not a huge fan of him. Uh, I think I only know one of his songs and it's the most famous song and I can't even remember what it was. Uh, but I thought since we're still in lockdown, it might be interesting if we actually take a look at some of these photos uh, Talk about some of the things that I was thinking about when I was taking the photo Some of the gear and some of the things that I've learned particularly like how I got the job uh, How much I got paid as well as you know, just some small things that I learned here and there I am not an experienced music photographer. Just getting me just get putting that right out uh, I have shot a couple of concerts, but they're not really big ones And I thought this was like an interesting way to just share with you guys uh, some of my experiences So let's just quickly talk about the gear that I was using. I was using the EOS R back when I had it uh, The 5D Mark IV. I brought three lenses, the 24 1.4, the 35 1.4 and the 70 to 200 I chose the 24 and the 35 because I knew that it would be pretty dark So I wanted a fast prime and obviously the only telephoto zoom that I had was a 2.8 so the first photo that I took, uh, we were just waiting for him. I was waiting at the photo pit, which is down, uh, down below. You know, music started. I think music started to come on, and then the lights came on. It was a very, very bright red. Uh, you could see his name behind there. So quickly took a shot, and then as he was walking out, uh, unfortunately, I, because I was using the 24, and I think I was using this on the Mark IV, it couldn't track him fast enough. So he, I, I like the shot of him coming out. However, I do wish that he were, his shoe was not in the frame. Uh, just starting edge, touching the edge of the frame, I think that was something that I would have improved later on. Uh, but because I think the Mark IV didn't, just didn't catch up with him fast enough. Uh, and the one thing that I don't really like as well is that how a lot of these shots are looking up at him. Obviously, one thing I cannot avoid it because I was in the in the photo pit, which, which sucks. Uh, but I don't really like the angle looking up. I think it's a little bit unflattering for him. You know, this is why this is one shot where I, I, I don't really like that, that low angle look. It looks like he has no neck. Uh, this is this is something that I, I found very annoying as well as that mic stand in the way uh, found one. So what what I did after that is was I quickly rushed in the second song to the Left stage left side of the stage and there was this really really nice um, What do you call this beam of light this spotlight coming in and because obviously everything was hazed up uh, it cut through the light really really nicely you could see like how you know it's illuminating him on the stage which i think is really really cool and that's where i got the shot i tried on the 35 first but i found that it didn't really work so i quickly changed to the 24 and thankfully it was a slow song so he wasn't changing his positions and things like that so i got the shot really nicely and then something that I think is very important that a lot of uh, photographers tend to forget, I'm pretty sure experienced ones will know, but a lot of beginner amateur photographers tend to forget that, you know, it's not just about the artist. Yes, the artist is going to be the main highlight, but the one thing that also brings shows together is the people that are there to watch. I think that that adds to the whole storytelling uh, atmosphere and you can only do so much when you're in the photo pit. You're only like within a small section and you're only running left and right. You can't see too much. So it's your job to, how do you make it a little bit more interesting? How do you provide context to see what is there? So what I did is I saw some fans, they were just, I mean, they, they really love him, which is, which is, which is amazing. And then you can ha you just see their reaction looking up at him. I think it's it's absolutely amazing, especially the guy. Uh, a couple more shots. I tried taking some shots of the band members. However, they were just too far deep inside, so I decided to forego that. Uh, something I tried a little bit more is kind of more artistic angles, maybe more of a Dutch angle to see that works. I think this worked very nicely because you have like the three different uh, shades of light. You have the blue, green, and yellow. So I think that's how it really nicely fits together uh, in the shot. So something that he was going through during like an interlude uh, was that he was talking about his, I think a food belly or something like that about how he was pregnant. And I think it's very important to capture moments like these as well because they they 
give some sort of character to the the people that are on stage you know, they're not just there to sing they're also there to entertain and they're also there to have that sort of like relationship with their fans and i think it's very important to capture that as well and then something that i wanted to do was also tell a story in one frame because i think that's very important as well i tried to get lewis and his name in one shot as well so that if the pr company needed like a banner you, you can have that right there i think i would have brought a wider lens in the future because I found 24 a little bit too restrictive for what I wanted to do and the size of the photo pit that I was in. Obviously then I tried to get like a shot of the band, at least get a shot of the band because I think like stuff like the drummer is the, one of the most left out musicians because you're always covered by something. And then here was I think going through another ballad. So he was closing, I was getting really emotional and into the song and that's when I decided, okay, let's go, let's try and get like a tight shot Let's try and get a tight shot for this. And as I was just going through, you know, just trying to catch the emotion. And so a lot of this is just shooting, just waiting for that right moment. This is probably one of my favorite shots. No, it's not my favorite shot towards the end. I'll show you my favorite shot, but it's just that, that reaction, that, that moment of like, how would you call this? Seriousness? Is that the correct word? It's just like he was so into the moment. I really enjoyed that. And for some weird reason, I think there was static on the stage. His hair started just flying everywhere. And I thought that was a very, very, very cool shot. Um, uh, but this, I think, was 70. I shot it. I think I shot this in a way where it would flare even more. Because I think this added like really, really cool texture behind it. And you can see like his hair just, just freezing up everywhere. Uh, that was pretty hilarious. I'm not so sure why. So at this point, at this photo, this was like the third song and then like the, I can't remember the, the lady who was in charge of me said, like, oh, you gotta get out. I was like, but there's nobody here. <laughs> I'm not even disturbing anybody, but okay, fine. Told me get out, get out. Uh, and what I did was we, she brought me to like the upper floor. There were two floors, one at the bottom and one at top. She brought me to the upper floor. I said, okay, if you need any white shot, you can get it here. So this is what, I'm a very down to earth guy. When I say down to earth guy, I just mean I'm short because I'm lower to the, to, okay, never mind. But, um, so what I did was like, I had to take a chair and I had to climb on top of the chair just to get above everyone, uh, just to get that wide shot here. Uh, this angle here from the stage right was a little bit, not, not really nice. I got a better shot later on. Um, as I was moving through the, the curve of the top floor, you know, I was getting from the middle, didn't really work too well. And, and I think also it's obviously, it's going to be the lighting as well, just waiting for the right moment of lighting. If you see the purple here, uh, knowing your camera is very important. Canon really, the, the purple purple and like, you know, these, these heavy blue colors, are very difficult for uh, camera sensors to actually capture even if you're shooting in raw so just be mindful of that and then i'll obviously punching in with my telephoto just to get that like that shot um as i was moving along the way this is where i got i think my the the better shot of the overall on the stage uh, left you can see his name very very clearly you can see the mass crowd and looking at this again this is something that you don't see anymore obviously because of like the whole pandemic but it's so crazy to think like this crowd was there one and a half years ago it's 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 insane how much life has changed uh and obviously as i was done she told me okay you gotta get out already and i was like as you were walking down i said like oh oh my god this was when they were putting a spotlight from the back they were hair lighting him really really strong and the the lt for this show was really really good i think the the lighting tech really did a fantastic job with this one uh when they were backlighting lewis and because of the haze and how everything's just cutting through i saw it on the from my eye i was like wait wait, wait i just need to get this one shot really really quickly and these were just a series of images as you know the light was just going through and you can see you can see his texture and you can see the harsh shadows coming from the mic and the guitar oh my god this is this is some of my favorite photos uh, that i've ever taken um, and I think this one would have been my my favorite my favorite one overall. It's just the composition of the light, the way you the way he's in the the way he's singing, the way he's reacting. And you can see like that foreground, the crowd, and their heads. It's just I I really really like this set of photos. They they had a bunch of like white lights come on as well, uh, but those were pretty okay. But I think the colored ones really really uh, sold the whole thing together. 
So I'll tell you first straight out how much I got paid and I got paid a grand total of zero ringgit. I did this gig completely free even though it was for an international artist um, and this is one of the things when I when I do professional work I also do work for free regardless of if it's a potentially can, kind that can pay. Uh, this is a topic for another day and it's it's a, it, it goes very very long and in depth into like my thought process behind it so if you're interested in that do let me know i'll do a video about that but i yeah i got paid zero for this and the main reason for that is because i actually got called for this gig i think very very last minute on the day itself uh on the day itself because i actually have a friend who shoots for this client i think the agency uh very very often and he couldn't make it on the day and he was he knew that i was interested in shooting music and he was like hey do you, you you're interested in shooting i mean if you don't want to it's fine but if you want to you can take it then i was like oh okay who is it Luis Cavalli. oh wait i heard that name before okay i think it's quite famous it might be nice to add to my portfolio and kind of like learn a bit because at that point you know once again i I, if for those of you who do not know, I shoot a lot of corporate work. I shoot a lot of wedding work. Not so much music festivals, you know, live live shows. I do a lot of events as well, but you know, this this kind of like three song photo pit, blah, 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 blah thing, I didn't know. So it was the best way for me to actually learn and experience. And also this friend was a very good friend of mine. He does work for me for free sometimes. I do work for him free sometimes. So we kind of have, have this like uh, job thing where we're just, in, a, in sort of like that work relationship where we, we help each other out. So at, at the point, uh, I'm very happy to work for free for that because I'm helping out somebody. I'm not really helping the, the, the client. Yes, I'm giving them free photos, but I'm also helping a friend who's like, you know, that just needs help. And I'd be more than happy to do that for free or so. So yeah, that's, that's basically how I got the gig. Uh, it was a pretty fun experience, not gonna lie. Uh, there are things I learned and things that I didn't know uh, and obviously just being able to look back at the photos and learning what I can improve. I think overall, my composition on the telephoto part was actually pretty nice. Uh, I do like the photos. However, on the wider angle lens in 24 and 35, I think there are a lot of potential uh, composi composition <laughs> composition uh, mistakes that I made that I can improve in the future one. And who knows, you know, I might get another potential gig somewhere because i did this job so uh yeah really enjoy shooting the concert not so much the concert itself because i don't know any of his songs uh but yeah i really had a fun time and i really like the photos looking back at them now so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to give a like comment subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot if any questions about the photos or if you have any tips for me i'd be more than happy to listen to just drop them down in the comment because i'm more than happy i want to learn things especially you know i i now that i think about it i do enjoy shooting music uh, i just don't have that opportunity that much so who knows you know just learning from other people might help so yeah thank you guys so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one